So with this we already get a taste of the nature of Turkish, adding on to the end of the word we will see throughout the language. As we stick this stuff onto the end of words in Turkish, we are actually making an effort to make it sound similar or the same to the last bit of the word you add it on to. For example, if you say I am a doctor, you won't say doktorim, but doktorum. Now this im and this um, they are the same. One is spelled I am, one is spelled U M, but they both mean I am or I'm. Just this U is closer to the O sound that doctor ends in and flows off easier. You can feel this yourself just by comparing doctorim, doctorum. Doctorim, doctorum. Can you feel that doctorum is so much easier? <laughs> this helps the word flow along, which is important if you are adding suffixes to get so many different meanings as we'll see throughout the language. It helps us also to understand what belongs to what when we are adding on these endings in Turkish, helping us to understand when one word finishes and another one begins also. And most importantly, because languages always strive to be efficient, it's a great calorie saver <laughs> if you think of all of that energy that is saved amongst all of the Turkish speakers saying doktorum instead of doktorim and that little bit of energy that saves but amongst the whole population sharing a language uh, there are some important adjustments. If I'm a doctor is doktorum, how do you think you would say you are a doctor? Doktorsun. Doktorsun, perfect. The word for champion in Turkish is champion. Champion. The ch becomes sh. Champion. Champion. And this sh is spelled with an s, with a little tail on the s. Just how we got ch, ch with a c with a tail, we get sh with an s with a tail. Champion. So how do you think you would say I'm a champion? Champion. Um. Bravo. Champion. Um. You are a champion. Champion. Championsun, perfect. How would you say I'm not a doctor? I'm not a doctor. And um, now VI, do I have to change it to make it more like a noob? So I don't do I have to change it? Exactly. So this is not grammar, let's say. It's pure phonetics. It's just about sound. So I don't change it. No, you don't okay. need to. Doctor Dilim. Perfect. Doctor Dilim. So this phenomenon is called vowel harmony. What Turkish does here to make these endings sound more like what we're attaching them to is called vowel harmony. It's a completely phonetic phenomenon, not about grammar. So mm -hmm. if you're adding this im onto dil, you only need to worry about the sound. You don't need to worry about doktor or whatever else is coming before that dil. Mm -hmm. So I will give you some words now and let you decide what do you think you will add on to the end. So a useful adjective, a useful describing word is bosh, bosh, B-O-S, and that S with the little tail giving us S-H. Bosh is especially useful as it means empty and free. Both meanings, empty and free. Actually, when you're saying I'm free, you're saying I'm empty. No? Okay. Like my schedule is empty. So how do you think you would say it? I'm empty. Do you think you will say boshum or boshim? See what feels closer. Boshum. It's better. <laughs> Perfect. Boshum. So you can try it and feel the sounds, feel that the um is closer, or you can reference doctor, doctorum. You had the o in doctor, so you know, okay, o is going with this um. Mm -hmm. No, you can do either. You can reference another word that you know and have a look back, or you can just try it. Boshim, boshum, and you will feel very quickly that boshum is much closer. How would you say you are free or you are empty, literally? Boshum son. What was the word for empty? No, bosh. Bosh, just bosh. Ah. Boshum. Boshum, good. Tourist is tourist. How do you think you would say I'm a tourist? Touristin. Touristin, good. And if you use the word for I? Ben touristin. Ben turistim. You are a tourist. Sen turistsin. Good. If you are emphasizing that you. Sen turistsin. Perfect.
The word for tired is yorgun. 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 How do you think you would say I'm tired? Yorgunum. Good. Yorgunum. I'm very tired. Chok yorgunum. Chok yorgunum. Good. I'm not very tired. Chok yorgun dilim. Very good. Chok yorgun dilim. Very good. Chok yorgun dilim. Very tired. I'm not. How would you say you are very tired? Chok yorgun sun. Very good. Chok yorgun sun. But I'm not. What was the word for but? Ama. Ama. Good. But I'm not. Ama dilim. Dilim. Good, but here making this contrast, but I'm not, we would include the word for I. So, altogether, you are very tired, but I'm not. Again, not from memory, but taking the opportunity to think it through again and dividing it intuitively. You are very tired is the first bit. Chok yorgun sun. Chok yorgun sun. Chok yorgun sun. Ama ben dilim. Good. Chok Yorgun sun, ama ben dilim. Or with sen as well. Sen chok yorgun sun, ama ben dilim. You are very tired, but I'm not. How would you say I'm free, but I'm tired? I'm free, I'm empty, but I'm tired. Boshum, ama yorgun sun, yorgunum. Bravo. Boshum, ama yorgunum. Well done.